Okay, there's our road. Uh, well, the road that goes from uh, it's Payne Ranch Road, and there's some pasture land over there. Over the view that way. There's the house. Not much from the outside. What is that big pipe for? That's a radon reduction system. Oh. Is there a trail over there, Ben? Like so it goes back, uh, it must go back quite a bit. Okay, there's a little patio area, garden area. Very nice. You're going to have to ignore the clutter of the pack rat of this person and just see the beyond that. Yeah, the potential. Lots Look of... at Christmas trees. Like just the doors, really unique. Okay, here we go. The wood on the walls is uh, like high quality wood. It's not just pine or something like that. Nice stove. It smells a little old. It's um, it's from the 80s. 81. But all of this can be, you know, made to smell new again. But it's all good wood. Um, if you got a carpenter, you could refinish everything or, you know, pop a good. Here's the... Um, Stairs going upstairs. There's two bedrooms up there. And a Jack and Jill bath. Lots of skylighting. Here's the kitchen. Lots Love of it. kitchen. Love it. Lots of kitchen. Love it. Um, most of it's good to go. Like the cabinets are real nice. It's all wood. Um, they've kept the natural stuff. Um, the beams, all the beams are really, really solid. Everything's just solid. Um, there's a separate stove, an extra stove. There's the main stove. It's all original, so I don't know if they're going to keep the cutting board here for you, but it's nice. Lots of skylighting and um, a lot of natural light. Cabinetry is all pretty good stuff. There's a built-in breakfast nook, lots of windows. Which mom will just love. <laughs> um, the refrigerator is kind of short, um, so you probably have to adjust or take out those top cabinets to put in a taller fridge if you wanted. Here's a dining room out here. This was all added on. This is the added on patio, but they bricked it. And I hope it's well done. It seems good, but I don't see any cracking. There's the other part of the patio that they closed in. There's skylighting. There's a couple of issues. The paneling is kind of coming off, but that's, I think, okay. There's some water damage up there, but I think it's okay. Um, that just has to be inspected, but nothing terrible. Very bright in here. You can open that window right there. Lots of views out to the woods and stuff like that. Underneath here, I walked underneath. Very, very solid everything. This is just a solid deck. Good stuff. Um, and you can see how they added it on to the existing house. So, don't know what the inspector will say, but it looks okay to me. Um, this is back in the living room. Very cool f fireplace. All the wood is just barely finished, you know, kept natural. Here is what? Oh, yeah. Okay, this is a uh, sort of a master bedroom area, I would say, but also it could be like a pool table area. Look at all the shit. Yeah, she's a pack rat. And just everything's natural wood. Not sure if this was meant to be a master, but I think it is. Walk-in closet. Walk-in closet. Overlooks the porch. A lot of light coming through. And if you just imagine everything cleaned, cleaned out, it's really nice. Okay, here's a bathroom. The master bath is connected to the main living area, so it would be shared. The shower is kind of interesting. You step over that, and it's open on the top. So it's really tall ceilings in here. It's got light. And there's the washer and dryer. Just wondering where that was. Toilet back here. Back in here. Okay, there's the heat. It's a monitor heat system. And they have baseboard heat. That's important to know. So it's mostly electric, but monitor is gas. So it's a hybrid. Okay, going upstairs. All this is wood on the side. It's not paneling. And we got the two windows up here. This overlooks the living room. 
and here we are into guest bedroom one. It's very tasteful, very simple. Quaint. Not mm -hmm. the biggest room. Very but cozy. Still. Nice window. Looking out. The wood is. Uh, it looks nice. Little closet. Bathroom. Built in fiberglass. That's old porcelain. Nice. Nice countertops. And windows might need some replacing. Or just cleaning. Okay, there's a little closet again. Looks like identical to the other. And that looks out to the front. There's a creek probably on the property, but we have to see about it's, that. It's got to be. This, you've got a navel here, so you stop. Yeah. And I don't know what you're doing over there, but I don't think much. I think it goes across the street, and the creek is just Okay, we'll keep the, the tape flowing, and we'll head over yeah. there after really downstairs. Great. Okay, Thank you. here we go downstairs. This is all wood. Okay, downstairs is different. This is... um. That paneling kind of floor, the pergo kind of stuff. Two columns, and this is where you could tell like a cat's been living because I think it kind of smells a little urine. Yeah, but that can be. Would go immediately. You'd rip that up. Also, um, the office style ceiling you could probably take out, and there's a approximately three foot crawl space above that where there's a lot of um, utility piping and stuff like that. Here's a fairly large bathroom. Once again, the ceiling, kind of old. A little bit of water damage on the ceiling just from humidity. Um, I don't think there's a humidity problem in here. Extra storage in there. Did you already show it? But, um, yeah, here's a storage area. Okay. Office. There's a um, little closet with the hot water heater in there, the water heater, and um, also a uh, tank. I think they have um, a well. Water heater looks old, so you probably have to replace that. Here's tiling. Doesn't really match. Another kitchen. Probably want to rip out all this flooring. And here's a second kitchen, which would come in pretty handy. Um, let's see. There's this office ceiling again. Different kind of windows. There's the driveway out there. This is whose house we're in. Ellen Phillips. Okay. And these go outside. Okay. And uh, real nice if this was cleaned up. But look what I mean about the uh, the, the um, supports for the house. They're huge. And pretty solid deck on there. Stone. And lots of foliage that, if kept, would look really nice. And this could be a garage if you wanted to. Yeah, you maybe. could probably, maybe make a garage you out of this. You could pull your car up here for coverage. You maybe. could pull it right up there. It looks like they have. I can see the, yeah, the brick or... Yeah. Um, driveway, maybe repave it someday, but no big deal. Lots of plants, lots of stuff, and not much mowing, so that's a good thing. Yep. There's the neighbor over there, right through those bushes. And when that leaf flower or whatever he's got going stops, you can actually hear the creek down there. A little swing. And you could even... Oh, okay. Oh, definitely winter views because they showed it in the ads, right? So, so there she is. Um, it definitely needs work. It needs some updating, but the the core of the house is, I think, quality. So here's your neighborhood. And this is the neighborhood. It's Pastor. just a a barn up there. Here you can also go to your house this way. And there's a driveway over there, and here, and we are up that road about 
four minutes. What would you say? Four minutes, babe, maybe? What? Four minutes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a barn down there. And the creek is across the street. And I'm not sure where your property lines will be. So. But real pretty. No road access issues, even though it's gravelly, it's not a problem. In fact, you'll probably get better traction in the winter. This right here, not that steep, you'd be okay. And uh, real pretty, real private. Okay.